Our show has uh, maybe got a Western theme to it, would you say? I do. Listen to the Western music in the background. Oh, is that not special? So, we saw bison out there. We did. So we thought, we got trout. Oh, you want to try the trout, by the way? I would like to try like the trout. Try Looks like you had a little taste. Maybe I did. <laughs> Kelly I snuck some out of there, too. Did she? Mm-hmm. Now look at that. Look at that. It just breaks. I did that just so I can get a piece of it. Mm. Mm. Yum, Baba. Isn't that good? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. That's excellent. Wow. All right. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> it just keeps that. on. You I want some more? I could eat that for dinner. That's a healthy snack. Yes, that is Kinda a good snack. No, I like it. So we're having our cabbage bison soup. Mm -hmm. And when you think about bison, you think about B12, B6, B3 vitamins. It's chock full of it. When you think about cabbage, you're talking vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Massive quantities of vitamin C. Now, when you think about the carbs, there's there's no carbs here. Right. And a cup of cabbage, uh, it's estimated between 3.5 to 5 grams per cup. Okay. So those are good carbs, and yeah. a lot of that comes from fiber. So what we're going to do, Mrs. Farmer, mm -hmm. as usual, is cut an onion up. Because onion's wonderful. A yellow sweet onion. And I'm going to find some olive oil, which I found right here. I'm going to go ahead and warm that pan up for you. So there are lots of cabbage soup diets out there, right? and it can be pretty bland or it can be pretty good. We've mm -hmm. had kind of Italian flavored where it tastes almost like spaghetti. Right. We're going to take this and we're going to make it taste like chili. Now the end product is not going to be something beautiful that you're going to see on a magazine cover because the nature of cabbage soup is not, ooh, that's a beautiful dish. You do make it kind of look beautiful. But we're going we're gonna to spice it up, it up. we're right. going to dress it up. And we're gonna have a chili, a very good chili taste. Now we got chili powder, we got cumin, I'll tell you all that in a minute. And bison's good. It's like a little stronger, isn't it, than a beef? Bison is its own thing. Yeah. And it's 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 mild compared to some things that people say have wild right. game taste. Like in between deer. deer and hamburger, yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah. I like it's great it. stuff. So again, the American bison roamed the range. At one point there were fifty million running around. Think about wow. that. Fifty million. Now when the railroads came in, folks were shooting them. They would advertise hunts off the train. You could shoot them from the train. And the sad part is the Plains Indians, that was their everything. They used the hides, they used the horns, they used the bones. Every part of that animal they cherished. Mm -hmm. And sad to say, towards the end of the 1800s, there were like 1,500 left. Wow. They were almost gone. So they brought them back hmm. through ranching and when we went to Yellowstone last oh. year, what did we see? They were right beside us by the car. Right I love that. They were walking by. <laughs> That's another reason we went out to the West. But it's good for you. It's lean. All right, dump those in. Yum. Cabbage. It's got some fiber in it. But the vitamin C, what a great source for vitamin C. Mm -hmm. A cup has 48% of the amount of vitamin C you'll need in a day. Really? Yes. I'll look these things up. I'm fascinated by food. So I know that you're going to be so sad, you're going to miss some of your fried foods. So tonight, I'm going to fry you something. Fry me something up, just a I'm little fry something. something. Okay, I think thank you'll you. like it. All right, let's pop in our pound and a half of bison, not buffalo. That's right, bison. So now you could use less meat if you wanted to do so. We like a lot of meat I in it. I like a lot of meat in it. And again, there's no carbs. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take about five cups of diced tomatoes. I'm going to use a head of cabbage and we're going to start off with about four cups of chicken broth. And if you want, you can go ahead and start cutting this guy up. Right. And don't you love a CSA? Yes. If you're not able to grow your own stuff, check your area all over the United States for a CSA. If you're not able to grow it yourself, we are growing more meat on our farm, more protein, and depending more on the CSA. We're not growing as many vegetables. We'll probably switch that up in a year or two. Take some of those fields out there and go back to growing some more veggies. But I'm always going to have a CSA. So we have to like to have little bite-sized chunks here. Now you might think that sounds strange, a chili tasting cabbage soup. But who doesn't like chili? Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to come back with some tomatoes. 
Yum, yum, yum. What'd you say? You had about five, a little over five cups here? Roughly. Roughly, okay. Then we're gonna come back with our stock, and beef would be just fine. We just happen to have more chicken than we have beef at the moment. Now, Mrs. Farmer, if you'd like, let's go ahead and start putting Put in that cabbage. cabbage in there. It's hard to believe this all goes in, but it kind of cooks into it, doesn't it? It so really good. makes something nice. Now, what I'll do most of the time is I'll let this cook for a good solid 45 minutes or so until the cabbage really starts getting wilty before I even spice it up. All right, so when we fix our soup and our chili, we like a lot of cumin. Mm -hmm. I like that almost as much as the chili powder. We're gonna go here, we're gonna start off with a tablespoon of chili powder. Equal parts cumin, that seems like a lot, but yum. We got about a tablespoon and a half there and we'll keep adding as we go along. Salt, Salt. to your taste. We also have <laughs> cayenne. Go easy. I'm going you easy. You like it hot. It'd be because of that, we had a really happy surprise the other night. Then smoked paprika. I'm gonna go at least, say a teaspoon and a half of that. Isn't that paprika? Paprika. Paprika. That's paprika. Right. Paprika. And coriander. As much of that as you want. I'm gonna do like a half a teaspoon of that. And if you want some black pepper. Kind of have pepper. A little black pepper. And if you want some onion powder. I know we already got onions in there, but I like that. It's a good flavor. It's a different flavor. If you wanted to add a little bit of beef stock, bouillon. We'll put a little bit of that in there. And then we're gonna see where that gets us. As we move along, if we don't have enough salt, we'll put a little salt in there. And that's just gonna cook and cook better and better. cook. So the soup, as I tasted it, I went a little heavy on the cayenne. Uh -oh. And I know you like yours not as hot, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, just to, for the little sweetness and flavor that it brings in, I wanna put the rest of that cumin in there. And up to this point, we have put at least another two cups in here. So we're at probably a little over six cups of broth. All right, so the other night, kind of like tonight, mm -hmm. when we were making our cabbage soup for the 14th time. That's all right. You made it really hot. I made it really hot. So here's what happened. I think he said, what am I gonna do? It, to me, it wasn't hot at all, but to her it was very hot. Yeah. So she said, I'm gonna put a dip of sour cream in there. And so she put a dip of sour cream in there. And I said, can I taste that? Delicious. It was fantastic. I know it. that sounds so strange. Oh, by the way, two grams of carbs. Oh, me, and sour cream. Per two tablespoons, I think it is, so hardly any. And then cheese. Why not have ooey gooey cheese melting? It's pretty. You said, I think it looks really attractive and pretty. It's hard to make cabbage soup a superstar. That looks good to me. So, again, you wouldn't find cabbage soup on so many magazine covers. No. But you know what? That looks pretty good. That's bison cabbage soup with sour cream and Mexican cheese. That's Whoa! Yeah, that's, that's a mouthful. That is, I don't think I could have said it tonight. I'm too tired. That's a lot of stuff. You, that's all the good stuff. Can I mix it in? So this is what she did. She mixed it up. And I made it creamy, and it was, like, perfect. And I couldn't stop eating it. And I know this may be a strange concept to some of you, but let me tell you what. This is highly edible. Yes, it is. Now, this is a little, little warm, Nikki. It's got a little bit. <laughs> I like the sour cream. A little bit cayenne. I went over cayenne a little bit. The meat is so good though, but the sour cream tones it just is perfect. Mm. I really like the bison in that. That's good meat. And craving chili? It's not quite chili season. You got a couple LBs you'd like to knock. That's back. right. <laughs> Eat this for about 52 days. That's right. Straight. <laughs>